Hey guys, welcome back to my channel today. I'm kind of doing a little shop with me vlog, kind of a get ready with me for the day and just take you throughout my day today. I am planning to go to Bath & Body Works today to check out their Christmas preview. They released some new Christmas candles, but I just got out of the shower. I did a quick body shower as you guys saw in the beginning with the products I use. So we are very vanilla smelling today, getting ready for the holiday scents. And I wanna do some really quick makeup this morning as well and this video is actually sponsored by it cosmetics I'm so excited to be working with them because you guys know I have been a really big fan of their products for so many years so I haven't done my skincare yet so I figured we would start with that and it cosmetics just launched a new version of their popular confidence in a cream which is already such a favorite of mine it's such a nice simple daily moisturizer and now they made it with even better ingredients so the formula has added 4% niacinamide to improve skin tone 3% squalene to help help with the moisture barrier and then a 2.5 peptide liquid complex to improve skin elasticity. So they really made this a all-in-one kind of anti-aging cream. Now that our skin feels amazing, very hydrated, we're going to go in with the eye cream as well, the confidence in an eye cream. Now their confidence in eye cream has also been reformulated too. It has a bunch of added peptides in here to really help with the anti-aging. It helps fight four signs of eye fatigue, like crow's feet, dryness, dark circles, and lack of firmness. I always love to use an eye cream, especially in the mornings before doing my makeup, because I just feel like my concealer sits a lot smoother when the area is hydrated. Now our skin is hydrated and ready for makeup. So I am gonna do just a really quick makeup look today, nothing crazy. I am gonna use the Cosmetic CC Plus Nude Glow. I really love this version of their CC cream. It has great coverage, but also offers a really pretty dewy finish, but it's not like too dewy that someone with oily skin couldn't wear it. So me even having oily skin, I really enjoy this product. As you can see, it just kind of even things out on the skin. It's not too heavy where it's like full coverage. It just gives me the right amount of tint it kind of helped cover up some spots I have on the face all around it looks very beautiful on the skin and natural next we're gonna go in with some concealer just to like conceal a little bit under the eyes and maybe some of these spots a little bit more just for a more overall even complexion and we're gonna be using this iconic product which is the it cosmetics bye bye under eye you only need literally a dot of product it goes such a long way for this one I am going to go ahead and warm it up with my fingers and then any excess product on my fingers I'm just gonna kind of swipe that under the eyes here. You guys can see the amazing coverage that this gives. Any dark circles I had are now completely gone. I'm also gonna use it as like an eye base here, so I'm just putting a little bit on my lid. Also, cover up some of these spots down here. For eyes, I've been loving just kind of a one and done shadow stick, so I'm gonna be using the It Cosmetics Superhero No Tug Shadow Stick. This one is in the color Bionic Bronze. I make sure to get quite a bit on there and then I'll blend it out with my finger. Also, can't go without mascara. I'm gonna use the It Cosmetics Superhero. This really livens up the eyes for me and just makes them wide and big and awake so I can never go without mascara. I am just gonna add a little bit of cream blush to the cheeks. I probably won't do any bronzer or anything, but just to add some color. We're gonna do a quick brow gel just to swipe through. And then I have to have something on my lips, so we're gonna do a lip oil on the lips. If you guys wanna check out some of the It Cosmetics products that I use, they did give me a 20% off code that you can use on a few of these featured items. So you can use the code MAGIC20 for 20% off on the It Cosmetics website, and that will include the Confidence in a Cream, the Eye Cream, the CC Plus Cream Original, and the CC Plus Nude Glow. So now that we're all ready, I can head out the door. We're gonna go get coffee first thing, of course, this morning, and head out to go film some content today. Okay, so I decided to change my hair and just do it half up because I don't know I wanted something a little on the face and then I put on this long sleeve green shirt which I believe is from the Pulse Boutique my flare jeans from Arula and then these white uh, snakeskin booties are from Target I was just gonna do a t-shirt but I don't know the high is like 6970 so it's a little cooler this morning but yeah thought it was a cute kind of 
little western outfit. Okay, we got our coffee. It's super, super bright outside, but if you guys ever come to Pella, Iowa, you have to try the Perk coffee. It's seriously my daily. I think it's the best coffee in town. It's a little drive through place, so they're only open until noon, but I always get their iced Dutch boy coffee, and it is amazing. It's like a caramel pecan, yummy goodness. There's literally nothing better, so that's always my go-to coffee. But yeah, now we're gonna head out. We're gonna stop at Bath & Body Works first, of course, to check out their Christmas stuff. And then, of course, I gotta go to TJ Maxx and stuff as well to film for that. I haven't been in a while, so I'm excited to see what new things that they have. So here is the Christmas preview, mostly featuring candles and wallflowers. And this is not gonna be it for Christmas. Like, there is so much more on the way. Tons and tons of stuff coming every week. But I wanted to start with some of the new candles. I found a Sugar Plum Fairy that was new to me. Most of these though will be repeats like of course champagne toast I really love the packaging of this little collection Here's a sneak peek of the minis that they had. They did have the crushed candy cane in the minis, so the peppermint like candles should be coming. Here's the wallflowers, the plugins that they had available so far, but again, more will be on the way for sure. And we had some room sprays, which I found a couple kind of exciting scents in this area. They actually had the Christmas Cider, which I remember we had that candle last year. They also had the Strawberry Snowflakes, which is coming in body care, the Dream Bright, and they had a In the Stars, which I thought was really cool too. sneak preview of Dream Bright. They had up front where you can get some deals on the new collection. They didn't have the actual body care out yet, but they did have like the sample perfumes on sale and the mini candle as well. So this is coming soon. All right, guys, I just got done at the store and they did have a few exciting goodies for us. I did pick up a few things. They don't really have any of the Christmas body care out quite yet, but I talked to the sales associate and she said basically every Sunday, Monday, they're going to have new stuff and all the Christmas should be out officially by November 1st, but yeah, literally every week there's going to be a few new items coming out. I think I'm going to do a haul at the end of this video. I'm not sure if I'm going to do a separate one, just I don't really have a ton to show you guys, so I could probably include it in this video, but I am so excited about the room spray I got. We got a small than upcoming strawberry snowflakes and it smells incredible. <laughs> like it literally smells like Killian's Love Don't Be Shy and then it turns really strawberry, but oh my gosh, the opening is dead on. I was shocked, so I'm hoping that the body care is going to smell the same. It might not, because those room sprays are very powerful, but then, yeah, I really wanted that, so then of course I had to buy three of them. And then we got to sample the new Dream Bright fragrance. When they have a new signature scent, they have like a little sampler, and you can get the perfume for only $8 in the little trial spray. So that was exciting to smell the new signature scent coming out, but yeah, I am ready for the Christmas stuff, the Christmas body care especially, but it was so nice to see the Christmas candles out, and I really think the packaging is gorgeous this year, especially like that almost nutcracker looking line. That is so cute. So you had a couple new candles, mostly repackages, but definitely Christmas is around the corner, you guys. Okay guys, we've been hitting up some TJ Maxx's in the past couple hours. It's already two o'clock, which is nuts, but um, yeah, I was trying to get some footage for a video. We'll see if I can do one this week, but it's a little bit slow going there. I did buy a couple things though that were super cute. They already started putting out their Christmas decor. So now um, I'm actually gonna head into Trader Joe's because I wanted to get a couple lunch items. What I've been doing is just trying to have like one lunch thing I eat like every day for a week or so and then I kind of switch it up. And I saw on TikTok they have this elote corn bowl that looks so good with four ingredients from Trader Joe's. So I figured we would do that for the lunches for the next week or so. I 
do need to get something today to eat though, which I'm probably gonna get something fast. It's already late and by the time I get home, it'll be like time for supper. So yeah, I'm gonna stop in there and get those ingredients, see if they have anything exciting and new because you guys know I love to go to Trader Joe's. I was thinking about stopping at the mall and seeing if Lush um, still had some Halloween stuff left over and just checking that out. Um, we'll see though if I really feel like it or if I just wanna kinda go straight home because it's already been kind of a long day, but yeah, I'm kind of feeling for lunch, maybe picking up Chipotle today. I kind of just like to grab something fast and eat in my car, um, just so I don't get hangry <laughs> later. So I think I might get that. Um, but yeah, let's head into Trader Joe's. Trader Joe's. They did have quite a few new things and tons of fall stuff still. I just got the things I needed for my Elo tables and then a couple extras. But I also got my Chipotle order. I just ordered on the app. They have this new steak that's so good. I always do corn, sour cream, cheese. Oh, I forgot lettuce, I think. Um, the salsa, the mild. You guys probably know I just got back from Disney World. Um, a little bit ago, I went last week, Monday through Friday, had a blast for their fall and Halloween. T got tons of content filmed there, and it was just a nice break. And now I'm feeling so much better once I'm back. I don't know, I get into really bad funk sometimes where I can get pretty depressed and it can just take over. But I feel like I've been so good this week and just, you know, focusing on the positive, trying to keep busy. And I've actually been reading a lot more, and I feel like that's helped. It just kind of gives me a little bit of an escape. So before bed, every night I kind of start reading. I've been getting up early, making sure I make breakfast and lunch, and I feel like I feel a lot, a lot better. I've been currently reading a bunch of Colleen Hoover books, of course. Those have been so good. I love that they like keep you drawn in, but they always have like a twist to them that you don't expect. And um, I started reading the After series because I've, I've watched the movies, and they get such bad ratings, but I love them secretly. <laughs> So the books are like so much better. I can't even believe it. Like there's so much more detail in the books than in the movies. But it's kind of like a romance thing. It's kind of a toxic relationship, but I don't know, I really like it. So that's what I've been currently reading. Let me know if you guys have anything that I should read that's kind of like that. Obviously I like romance, a love story, stuff like that. I have a very busy month this month. I'm just getting back from my vacation and then my husband and I are going to Kansas City next Saturday for a concert. And then the last week of October, we booked a last minute trip to Tennessee. My husband and I, cause he had some vacation to burn. So we're like, let's just go somewhere. I wanted to go somewhere easy to get to from Des Moines, Iowa. Cause it's so complicated, our airport. We don't really have very many direct flights and they do go to Florida a lot and they also go to Nashville. So like, let's just go to Nashville. Cause we could fly there pretty inexpensive through Allegiant. And I think we're gonna do one night in the mountains uh, near Pigeon Forge and Gatlinburg and then go back to Nashville for the rest of the trip. And it's a weekend, so it's probably gonna be crazy. But yeah, that's kind of what's been going on here. Not much, just been trying to get back into the swing of things, back into the work stuff, weekly schedule. I've been putting up a lot of Disney vlogs, but have to get some more beauty stuff going up soon. Um, and I'm excited to put this Bath and Body Works video up. But yeah, anyways, just thought we would chat just for a little bit, update you guys on what's going on with me. But I'm gonna head home and I'll see you guys there. All right guys, I thought I would switch back in here to film the rest. I wanna show you guys what I got at Bath and Body Works. I'm just gonna apply a little bit of more lip gloss because I forgot to bring it with me today. Let's start with the candles. I believe they are running a candle sale this weekend as well. If you guys want to snag any of these, these are also online, but I grabbed Vanilla Snowflake because for some reason, I don't think Vanilla Snowflake has been back for a bit. Maybe I'm crazy, but I don't remember it coming back last year, but this is a classic favorite from Bath and Body Works. I used to not love it, but I smelled it and it just brought back nostalgia <laughs> for me, so I had to pick it up. This is frozen vanilla ice for needles, mint leaf, and coconut flakes, and it is such a pretty coconut and vanilla kind of scent, but it just reminds me of Christmas, even though it is not really a Christmassy typical scent, but 
It's so pretty. So I had to go ahead and grab the Vanilla Snowflake in the gorgeous new packaging because I haven't had this one in so long. And then I picked up this new scent. This is a Sugar Plum Fairy and I call this like the Nutcracker packaging because it reminds me of the Nutcracker Ballet. I definitely want to get a couple more from this line with some of my classic favorites but we just got two for now. So this one is Sweet Sugar Plum, Candied Cranberries, and Sugared Orange and I feel like there's supposed to be something similar to this coming in body care something sugar plum I thought I read I could be wrong to be honest I did not smell this in stores before I bought it I kind of just grabbed it because I was really excited for the packaging and it's seeming very light almost a sour smelling on cold um, I'm not getting a lot from it we're gonna see how this burns but I'm a little disappointed in the strength right now but it does seem more of a soury kind of citrus scent. Next up, they did have the preview for Dream Bright, their new signature fragrance, so I did go ahead and pick this up. It says it's a floral fruity fragrance, dream come true, brilliant, unforgettable, and bold, notes of sapphire berries, night blooming orchid, and crystallized vanilla. And I feel like I keep spraying this and I keep smelling something different every time. It keeps changing, which is so weird. Because at first it was very fruity to me, very fruity vanilla. I was almost getting Ariana Grande cloud vibes from it a little bit, but then it just like changed and then I get almost a patchouli note in there that kind of reminds me a little bit of the Wicked Vanilla Woods, but like better, a better version in my opinion because I don't love that scent. It's just a bit much for me. It also just kind of reminds me a hint of Into the Night as well. So there's just a lot going on here. I do think it's a new scent and it's fun, it's exciting. It does remind me of something for winter, but a little bit more fruity. So I do like it. I can't wait to try like the body cream and the shower gel and see how those smell too. But I actually am enjoying this new Dream Bright. And then I picked up a few room sprays and I was shocked to find the Strawberry Snowflake in the room spray out because I heard this was coming in body care and I've been dying to smell it because I love strawberry. And this scent, oh my gosh. First impression, you smell spot on Killian's Love Don't Be Shy, which is one of my favorite perfumes and it's insanely expensive. And then you get more of the strawberry on the dry down. It almost has like this root berry essence that Love Don't Be Shy does. It is so nice, you guys. I cannot wait for the body care in this. So pretty. Just think of a strawberry version of Love Don't Be Shy and that is this. So hopefully the body care will also live up to the hype. And I also picked up the In The Stars Room Spray. This is one of my favorite scents from Bath & Body Works. So I figured I would like to have that as well. And I also picked up the Dream Bright Room Spray. I wanted to see how this was in the room spray this one does smell way different in the room spray so now I'm a little bit nervous about the strawberry snowflakes it's more fruitier in the room spray I feel like the perfume is a lot more complex this is like fruity but musky but it's kind of basic I don't know so yeah I definitely prefer the perfume the room spray I'm definitely getting different things here. So that is what I picked up at Bath & Body Works for, the, for their holiday preview. I cannot wait to see what else is coming out for the holidays. They are going to be releasing new stuff pretty much every Monday now with probably some new body care coming up and some new candles even. Um, they have some really cute packaging this year, so I can't wait. I'm curious to see if Vanilla Bean Noel will be improved from last year's, which had literally, like, no scent to it. I'm hoping they improve, but I've been a little bit disappointed in their new body creams lately, so I don't know how it's gonna be. But anyways, that's pretty much all I had for you guys today. I'm just literally gonna edit this video for the night, make dinner, probably read my book, and head to bed, so nothing really exciting. Don't forget to check out It Cosmetics if you guys were in interested in any of those products we used this morning to get ready. I'll have the links down below for them as well as the coupon code that you guys can use to save. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys.